around Chennai and you'll see walls splashed with color, street art in its different forms. Psychedelic images, stencil work or just quirky imitations of life around us. Conquer the Concrete, a street art project started by the Goyt Institute brought together a collaboration of Indian and international street artists in January. The aim? To bring art out of galleries, into public spaces and reclaiming our public space. Street art is normally associated with rebellion and is illegal in several countries. But that's not how Conquer the Concrete works. The Goethe Institute worked with the permission of the Southern Railways who were only too happy to have artists beautify station walls. But this movement goes beyond just aesthetics. For instance, here um, most of the administrators really just view this as beautifying a space, whereas beautifying a space is not really one of the motives of the festival. The festival is to bring art into public space and art is not necessarily only beauty. And um, we had we had no thing in terms of briefing each of the artists saying don't draw this or don't draw that or you know we just let literally let them freak out in the ways they would like to freak out. For years, Chennai walls and public space has been dominated by political propaganda and commercial advertisements. Some walls are even booked for certain political parties to paint on. The aim of the initiative is for the common man to reclaim his space by expressing himself via his art. Hence, artists like Base 23 allowed passerbys to add touches to his mural. As Georg Zolchow, the project curator says, just being in a public space, the art is already political. Egmo, one of the two central stations in Chennai, has four of its walls splashed with colorful murals. Look has painted passengers in a train coach. He made it a multicultural coach. He did not want to use skin tone colors and use different colors like purple and orange to associate people. His idea is that the train coach, like the world, is multicultural. Anpu Varke wanted to paint something that bounces out of that space, so she drew her own cat. Ranjit Dahiya painted an old heroine, Vajanti Mala, on the casino theater. At Greenways Road, the first thing that catches your eye is a huge mural of an old woman with the title Life. The artist Axel Void says that his art is related to the space he's in. Inside the station, a dramatic mural imitated from an old-fashioned poster of actors Shivaji Ganesan and Padmini catches one's eye. This is a collaboration of Bangalore-based Shiloh and Chennai-based MP Dakshina. In this mural, Shiloh uses tribal style from Orissa for the clothing of the two actors while MP Dakshina uses realistic style. According to them, they have merged their painting styles to create a new art form. In typical Indian cinema, the hero saves the heroine who is a damsel in distress. But here, Padmini asserts herself. As Shiloh says, it's time to break away from outdated misogynistic stereotypes about gender roles. In the painting, I am saying that the art is both equal and equal. We are the same. We are the same. We are the same. We are the same. We are the MP Dakshina, in collaboration with Base 23, painted another mural at 1000 Lights. This theme portrays how materialism has seeped into human life and rendered people as machines. This is Conquer the Concrete's success lies in the fact that it has spawned and recognized hidden street art.
part is almost over now. Chennai Advice.